No, seriously, that was a trash year. I'm not going out to. Okay, I just woke up from a nap. And my allergies kicking my butt, bro. You feel me? But I'm not here to complain. Hope you have Thursday is going well, man. One more day, bro. One more day. And then we made it to the weekend, bro. Salute to us, Snow Capsky. What y'all got planned for this weekend? About to be real nice. What y'all about to do? You outside, like outside, not for like club and stuff. Outside, I'm talking about like outside in nature. For me, what y'all got planned? Let me know in the comments. I know I don't got nothing planned, but we gonna try to figure out something. Man. I like. I need new ball shoes too. Y'all recommend any ball shoes? Let me know what ball shoes to get. I want, I want some more mellows. I want some more mellows, but nothing low top. I don't like low tops because low top. I, I, I like ankle support. Like as I can see, even in my even with my you know Space Jam Elevens, whatever. I don't really like low, I, just in low top shoes in general for for. But anyway, speaking of shoes, I got we got another shoe video. And it seems like y'all like my shoe videos too, man, about interactions and stuff y'all be having in the comments. So let me know if y'all want to keep seeing more shoe reviews. And I have no problem us uh, keep talking about shoes. And then, like I said before, man, my word do when I start getting my shoes up and stuff like that. And I've been spending bread for shoes. And I know I got y'all want to unbox and I'll try them on for y'all and stuff like that. I did it before. I'll do it again for me. Um, Yeah. I, if, actually, too, even though it, nah, let me know if y'all want to see the. I still might do it. Let me know if y'all want to see me try on my um Craft Ivory threes. I know there's a man late, but and I've been at them, but we barely late than ever. But today, the man Seth Fowler, man, we got another banger. Top ten sneaker pickups of 2024 so far. Let me in. Like I said, only so far I can think of shoes that just came out that's fire. Obviously, the J Balvin's, those dunks. The military blue fours. I said military blue. The military fours. <laughs> and maybe if I'm missing up here. Uh, I'm hopefully he's not no Travis's in there because uh, some of them have really been. But we'll see what we got to say. So I'm potting too much. It's a 20 something minute video, so I will skip through it. Sorry, Seth Fowler, but for me, we got for me. Yeah. But without further ado, let's see what the man said. Sneaker pickups of 2024 so far. Yes, I bought way more than just 10 pairs of sneakers, but I had to narrow down the list a little bit. And also, honestly, I don't have a lot of pairs that I picked up this year because I bought them for reviews and then got rid of them. So these are the pairs that I not only added to the Oh, Anthony Edwards, dude. I heard. See, speaking of basketball shoes, those AE1s, I think they're called. But before diving into the sneaker pickups, I'm going to tell you, and it's bad for our. As you covered, I forgot how I'm confident. I've been using it in video. Most, if not, of course. I don't mean, Ew, it's not those... really a neck breaker shoe. No one's going to be like, what are you wearing? But you'll I hope like, this is not the one already. Even though no one's looking at me. I don't know. There's a lot of really crazy things. New balances are really comfortable. I will say that. New balances are mad comfortable. The one thing that I do love about... <laughs> Bruh. No, I haven't even been three minutes into the video, sir. Come on, bro. I did. You gotta make your money. I don't like that colorway. I remember it's. Oh, shoot. I'm, it's crazy now how stuff is just. How it just. How everything just be transcending and stuff like that. I'm a trend center. But, um. How just shoes are in this. this Casual attire now, like people wear Asics. <clears throat> the Asics are fire, and then certain New Balances and stuff like that. And I remember some of those shoes too, like bro, like you get picked on for wearing those some of those shoes. And then also, I have a pair of Asics. They're cooked. No issues, it's cooked. And um, I had I started wearing them. Well, I've been got them. It's literally I, got, I bought them my second day going to the gym. I've been going to the gym since 2019, but um. Yeah, I remember not many people wearing them. And now, um, like, oh, I see people wearing some new balances and stuff like that. But they some they'll, they'll, they are tough and they're really well, they are comfortable. I will say my A6 are probably the most comfortable pair of shoes I have with because of the gel and stuff like that. And at the time, too, they're cheap. I think it was like $80. And obviously, you know, it's reasonable. I don't want to say cheap because, you know, $80 to me, it can be. That really expensive. Shoe eighty dollars is expensive. Till no matter what, eighty dollars is damn near a hundred. So, um, but yeah, I would recommend get some Asics. Same breathable. So there, there's 
there's trade offs there, but yeah, all around incredibly comfortable shoe. And if you guys saw my top 10 most comfortable sneakers, in the I don't year, like this, those. This was number one, not to ruin it for you if you haven't seen that video yet. And actually, if you guys want to grab this shoe and experience the comfort for yourself, mm -hmm. make sure to check it. We'll drop them in your future. So, stick drop them in 2022, like holiday of 2022. So, that's what a year and a half. What are these? Years. What are these? I actually had a pair of these in the yet, and uh, I love it, man. Every day, wear for me. It's my hat straight. This is a brand new apothecary hat that hasn't dropped yet. We'll drop in the near future, so stay tuned. Number 10, the Amamon Air Amamon, Air Amamon, 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 yeah. So Those are fire. Back, and I've actually had a pair of these in the past, but I ended up getting Didn't a Didn't a white pair come out, too? I'm regretting it and buying it back. I think the shoe dropped in 2022. Like yeah, it did. Late 2022, so 2022 early 2023. Ago at this point, and uh, now we're getting more Amamon Air Air Jordan 4s. So not only did I want to have this shoe to compare to those upcoming They have threes of those Amamon. Yeah, I put it, I'm pretty sure you put them on there. And the one, but the ones are ugly. It's just a very subtle, but very clean sneaker <laughs> Dude, those with are some hard. very premium touches, like this quilted stock liner, which doesn't really feel any different on foot. I guess it is kind of more slippery. And I think the tongues are both different. Like, the one got the A, as you can see. And then I think the other one is different. Um, especially if you get the right size. And then you've also got Nike Heel tag. Now, it's kind of hard to see. But the heel tag always gets me, bro. It's like a very subtle contrast. But either way, super clean shoe, super wearable shoe. One that you can get for a pretty reasonable price. And I actually might do a video on, like, the best sneaker deals you can find right now. Because the market is insane. Like, it is. This shoe all the time. And definitely, the Jordan 4 is a dream. I got those. I forgot about those. And a lot of people too are um don't like the <laughs> like the leather and stuff like that because obviously that's not how the original Brett Fours are. But um like me though, I like those. Like I only wore them once when I did my my um my New York vlog on that up um W promo. But but no, I'll just just I I got those. And those are actually fire. I really I really do like those. And um, I actually got comments on those too. And those, I really like those bread for. Obviously, I want the original ones as well, but those go for like some maybe tax. It is reimagined is because they switched out the suede, or I guess mm -hmm. new, but no, it is a suede. No, it's, no it's not suede. I don't know. They switched out the material used on the upper to a leather. And I think for a lot of people, it's actually a good change. They prefer I leather do. because it is a little bit more durable. Like, mm, way like, more durable, bro. Much in the rain like you do with the suede. I also like the way this tumbled leather looks. I feel like it's a very clean, very wearable shoe. Where is that dirt from? Yo, did I get gold paint on the side of this shoe? That's crazy. What's like doing in these shoes to get gold paint all over them? Digging for gold. All right, well, there's Doodle. gold Doodle. crap on the outside of my shoes now. Uh, I was going to say I don't wear these that much, but I must have worn them as another pair of fours, which we're going to talk about later on the list. But I do like these sneakers. I'm going to a lot. It's, but this is definitely the most common AE1 colorway. Oh, AE1. It's definitely one of the best. Uh, the Stormtrooper nickname, but that's not what it is. It's like something all of these or everything. Those black is ones, those carbon is, looking ones are tough. One twenty is not bad. Is absolutely killing it in the playoffs right now. He just knocked out the Nuggets. That's when I was filming this video like two days. Try to escape Platinum Plus. It removes up to one hundred percent of food residue, even in older dishwashers. Hey, um, basketball sneakers of all time, uh, both visually and performance. You know, visually, those are tough. As well. It's just such a clean and unique looking sneaker. All right, we'll skip. We're gonna skip through this a little bit. Oh, yeah, look, I, I said it. I said it. I said it. I said it. It's actually coming back, and it's just in general for 2020. I said it. Number seven, the Air Jordan 4 Industrial. I knew it. Slash military blue. Military blue. I knew it. Air Jordan 4 is a drop this year. I love this shoe. It's an OG colorway once again. It's actually coming back in its somewhat true OG bro. form. The, the blue is a little bit different than it was in the original, but it still looks incredible. And Especially when the sun the hits it, bro. I see somebody at the gym wear those, and, and he said they're comfortable. It happens, happens somewhat regularly, but it doesn't happen a lot. It's mostly red and black, which I love, don't get me wrong, but it's nice to have another option to switch out if you decide to go for a more uh, cool vibe. Exactly. Or a color vibe. And this is perfect for that. The materials on this shoe are decent. The leather is smooth. It's not really tumbled, but I actually kind of like it. It feels more like the original. You've got some new buck on I'm the tail. I'm not going to spend too much time on those because we already did the, a video on that. Which I actually really like. See, I, I, I don't know. Again, I don't like especially low ones, but those are fire, though, but I want to cop those. Again, like I said, I really don't like lows. Because that's just... Making a lot of contradictions here, but I'm just being honest. I'm speaking from the heart. The material usage on this pair is really solid. You've got yeah, was that white colored nubuck on the main base panels in the, the back. Shoe. You've got some red satin with the trophy room logo embroidered into the lateral side. You've got this sort of, um, I don't know what to call it, canvas, jean, corduroy, maybe. Well, corduroy, um, yeah, 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 corduroy. Cut. Maybe having some fitted like that, too. <laughs> the Nike swoosh is embroidered, which is different. 
Uh, I don't know if I love that or if I hate that, but either way, it's there. <laughs> You've also got I don't like those yellow shoelaces with them, though. I switched out because I really like the way that they look. And then, of course, you've got this yellow insole on the right shoe and then a blue insole on the mm. left shoe. And the inspiration behind the shoe is actually one of my favorite parts of the shoe. I know that's great. Yeah, skip just, through. Had, just because why it's perfect for some. Which ones you think cheap prints? A lot of good stuff. So make sure to check this out. I think I actually sent this shoe to me, and I didn't open it up uh, before the release of the shoe. I actually opened it up after the release of the shoe. I didn't even realize they sent it to me. And I saw it, and I was like, dang, this is kind of fresh. So I threw it on. I was wearing it. No, it's safe. And I got a lot of compliments. I mean, I get it, they're different, but me, the one that's Sokany, Sokany, they don't. Sokany's are fire, though. Those remind me of the Puma R, um, Puma RSXs. No, I don't like those. Ooh. I grabbed them. I grabbed them for like a steal too. I think it was like six hundred bucks. This is actually my first pair of That's a steal. I love the way this thing. Yeah, I would have stole those yeah, literally. Six hundred dollars. Your standard off-white texture. Um, you also those are fire. Like Nike swoosh right there. Goes from a green to a blue. Player match those. I don't know why it's called the Mento. Maybe because it was a menthol swoosh. I, I have no idea. I really don't. Know. You've got the air text right there on the lateral side, and then of course you've got your off-white text in the medial side of the shoe. Those are ninety sevens. For Nike Air Max ninety seven. <laughs> Oregon, I've never not used that good stuff. Of course, because this is the Air Max 1997. Relatively comfortable shoe. The air unit's sort of soft underfoot. The upper is not that flexible. You know what? I'm I would say for me, like, kind of the little soft is like near the, um, near the, like, your toe and stuff like that. That part's not bad, but the heel, and, I mean, it's not that comfortable with shoe. Yeah, I've see, exactly. A couple times, probably like four or five times very wearable but not that comfortable so it's the kind of shoe that you throw on to stunt in not so much to like look good all day bless me. and it really Thank is you made to the upper of the shoe it's breathable but it's not very flexible so it can be a bit of a bit of a pain the flex is like in a weird way right there at the toe so yeah that's something to keep in mind air max Honestly, is a tough though sneaker, I, would love to I like i like 95 personally um i'm currently working on picking up most of them through the 20 dollars sneaker collection which i realize i haven't dropped a video for no, speaking of 95, no, those are not 95s, but Air Max 1s. That's my mom's birthday. I just don't like that lime green. I don't like that. I don't know if I missed out or if I just passed on them. I really don't remember. They were going for like barely any money on the resale market, and now for some reason they've jumped in price to like six hundred bucks. Of course, I'm not that's just how it is. Dollars for a red Air Max One that has my birthday on it. I'm just not straight up. I'm just not doing that. I don't so blame you, buddy. I, this one I, was I don't really like that though. That this one was releasing. It's, it's like kind of like Seahawks. Seahawks colors. If the uh, green, the if the, the green was more navy, I mean, if the blue was more is navy. Fine. I think I do prefer the university red, but I actually kind of think that the blue. No, the blue is calm though. That looks better. Oh, those the um. Uh, don't tell me, don't tell me. Those like the Sierra something, right? Cause I know there was like there was a uh, Faso. I mean, like uh, Air Force Ones collab with those so two. I guess I went with this one because this one didn't release this year. The other shoe did release this year, so that's sort of my thought process. Those are fire, though. Those are better than the Faisal. The this shoe is a grail collaboration for me. Definitely. I got the second release of the shoe, the 2017 release. Yeah, I did. This shoe is a collaboration with one of my favorite sneaker stores of all time, Atmos, which used to have a location in Philadelphia. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite pair of um, Air Maxes, if you have any. Went back to Japan and left us, you know, with nothing. Which is brutal, because I loved Atmos. I Morning, babe. I'm making breakfast. Love that store, but unfortunately, we no longer have the store, but we do still have the collaboration. So I'm really excited. Those about are that. fire. I love the way the sneaker looks. Oh no, nope, they're not. Leather, they're an elephant. No, nope, never mind. Cause that, cause that black and bluish tealish color. If you know what I'm talking about, I'm probably trying to see if I can put the Nike, the collab on here. But. It looks like those. The shoe in a glass case, and you're like, man, I wish they're I had fire. that shoe. The reason any of the other sneakers looks amazing. Orders that were abyss. Most of the customs that I did on Roshi's were like Galaxy Print or uh, Blacksmith 3 Roshi's. But um, people Roshi's are crazy. Me, on, um, and then obviously, the those are fire. Oh, we did have those. All right. Appreciate you, Seth Fowler. Keep looking out. <laughs> um, Yeah, so, so far, so I get, in his opinion, those are his... <laughs> Top 10 shoes that came out so far. Leave in the comments what y'all think. Uh, y'all don't have to leave y'all on top 10, but maybe y'all top three in the comments. 
Um, yeah, I, I don't really, all I know is those military, uh, I keep saying military blues, military fours, those are, those are number one. I mean, I, again, blue, just my favorite color, blue. Um, no, those, I would probably say those J Balvin's are up there. I'm surprised he didn't put them on there. Actually, I'm really surprised he didn't put them on there. And, I don't know. I don't really, that's probably so far my best. I don't think, well, the white cement reimagined, those came out late last year, right? The white versus cement reimagined, those are so clean, bro. For me, those would probably be my top three so far, I'm not gonna lie. But leave in the comments what job top, what job favorite is and why. For me, like, come subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, turn your post notes on. Appreciate y'all, we're on road to 100, we're on road to 200 subs, man. We got 113. Let me, like I said, if y'all wanna keep seeing shoe content and stuff, uh, let me know by liking it and stuff like that, interacting with me, and I'll catch y'all next one. Appreciate it.